Hey, what's up, everybody? MacBoy here, and right now I'm gonna be doing another Pixelmator tutorial for all of you who love Pixelmator and love photo editing and Photoshop and all that. And today I'm gonna make something unique, nothing too much with image editing, but with creating a badge or some kind of banner or a nameplate uh, to go on a web page, a blog, or something that uh, stands out and shows and explains itself to your viewers. So. Um, I've created something really quickly and we're gonna end up with the result look something like this uh, it's just a small badge it has MacBook Productions on it, it has some information it has a couple of uh, pictures on the sides uh, the MacBook Productions has uh, the drop shadow and then has the black curved border border around it so I will go through uh, how to make this and how to uh, use the Piximator tools uh, to make this kind of image and again, when you are in Pixelmator, you can customize it to any way you want, make it work so it looks good for you. So here we go. We're going to create a new layer. Uh, I usually start off with, uh, say, 1300 pixels with uh, 900 width, sorry, 1300 width and height of 900. I can just click enter and uh, it comes up. If you don't like it, you can always change it. So let's, let's try that again. Click new, uh, let's see, 1300 width, and let's have the height to about 700, like that. Is that good? I think that's fine. Alright, so when you uh, start off with Pixelmator, you start off with a new blank layer, untitled layer that is checked off. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a border, a black border around, uh, so we can uh, put the information inside of that. So go to your uh, rectangular marquee tool right over here and then just draw a freehand uh, square or a rectangle uh, inside the borders of the canvas uh, in Pixelmator just like that now you're gonna go up to uh, file sorry edit and uh, you're gonna click on refine selection so what this will do it will create the curved edges around uh, the rectangle so click refine selection and it's gonna come up with a dialog box or a um, the drag box where you can just drag the playhead over and uh, go click on the smooth arrow and drag it to about uh, 30, 32, 33 whatever makes you whatever looks cool for you whatever looks fine as you can see the edges are now curved uh, hit OK and uh, now the selection that we just made is now curved so if it's curved now just you're gonna make the stroke or the thick lines around it. you're gonna go to edit and right there you see stroke and again the same box you're gonna come up it's gonna give you some options like an inspector and you can just change the width of the stroke and the color of the stroke so let's uh, keep this stroke to about uh, say 10 uh, change the color to black uh, right here all right and I'll leave everything else the same. So there you go. Now you can just hit Command D on your keyboard to deselect everything, and there you have a nice curved black border. Okay, now you're gonna need to fill this black border inside with a color or a gradient. So what you can do is just go into your swatches palette, pick a color, uh, pick your grade, uh, paint bucket tool, and just go into the that rectangle we just made and just hit and click in there, and you'll have the color. Pretty nice pretty ugly color <laughs> let me change that up to about red okay but if you want to use a gradient like over here uh, you should when you find your gradient and you're gonna click hold and drag you're gonna find out that it doesn't go in the uh, rectangle that we made the border that we made it goes in the whole entire image the canvas so what you're gonna need to do you're gonna need to uh, quickly outline this little the border that we just made. So just outline it with uh, your free hand, just zoom in uh, on your computer and uh, do something like that. And once you're done, go ahead, go into your gradient tool, select your gradient, now click, hold, and drag, and there you have it. Now you can see that the gradient is now in there. If you if you don't like it, you can just reposition it on the gradient, or if you um, want to do it again, just undo it like that uh, maybe scale that little down 
Or if you want to make a separate layer, just click Add Layer, and it's going to have another untitled layer. Then uh, take your selection tool again, select where you want to select, take your gradient tool, and then do your stuff. And that's it. There you have you have your background, and now you can just take and uh, fill all the information you want to fill it with. And now I'm just going to uh, demonstrate a small text uh, edit, small text optimization in uh, Pixelmator. So here we have, I'm going to type Macboy Productions. All right, then I'm going to, let's see, sorry, my text tool. I'm going to select all in this text. I'm going to put it to about 72. All right, and I'll uh, change the font to, I don't know, ST Song. Looks good. Take that, move it there. And uh, there you have Map Productions in the middle. Now, uh, just copy some text or uh, get your information where you want to talk about on this little banner. Uh, copy and then paste it. So, let's see. I can paste this little thing, little thing right here. Uh, just, some information, just some information of MacBook Productions. All right. And make that a little bigger, 14. That looks good. Okay. So there we have some text in there to just to show. All right. Just some uh, example text. And now you could just uh, edit your pictures, optimize the banner, look at, uh, make it look good. And maybe if you want to change the color of the background or anything like that. Now, let me just edit this text for you, the MacBook Productions title. Um, in your tool options for the text over here, you don't have anything like drop shadow or underline or strike through. So we, what you need to do is you're going to click on show fonts and here's where you can edit it more. You can underline it, you can make it a strike through, you can change the color of it, uh, and you can ha add its drop shadow. So uh, I'm just going to go quickly through this with you. All right, add some of the drop shadow, make it look good. And um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see properly, I am moving the, uh, the shadow away a little bit, or I'm uh, making it blurry, or making the opacity thicker. So anyways, customize it the way you want, and once you're done, you're basically done. And uh, guys, like I said before, you can customize it the way you want it, uh, change the font, the edit, this is just um, an example. Now let me just get some uh, images, uh, maybe some computers. Okay, so I've just imported a couple of images right here. A Mac Pro and a um, old Mac keyboard. And you can position it the way you want. Now here's another tip in Pixelmator. To transform it or um, scale the size, uh, you don't have anything right here in the tools or the palette or anything like that. So you're going to have to go to either Edit, Free Transform, or just hit Command F on your keyboard and that will bring up the different arrows that where you can use to transform the image. And when you're done, just hit enter on your keyboard and move on to your next one. Command F, change it to the way you like it. All right, and also, if uh, you want to make the image bigger but it's going over some text, you can always move it below the information so the information will overlap it. and. Uh, It'll all look fine, just like this one. I'm doing over here. All right, bring it underneath, and you can see the of is over the keyboard. Okay, guys, uh, that's basically it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped. I uh, hope uh, you guys learned something in Pixelmator. And uh, if this did, please do leave me a comment. Just a thank would be nice. Or if you are experiencing any problems, any questions you have, you can also comment below. So, guys, before you go, please do make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe to this video and channel. Follow me on Twitter, contact me through my business email, and become a fan of Mac Productions on Facebook. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Links are all in the description, and I'll see you guys next time.